So in this video, we are going to see how the PHP handles radio buttons, how to write radio button, how to handle it in the PHP file. So if the user wants to choose only one item from the given choices, then the radio button will be the best choice, like MCQ question. But there will be, even if there are four options, only one will be the correct answer. So creating, uh, uh, if, you want to, uh, if you want to get the only one answer from the user, you can go for a radio button. So let us see how to create a radio button. So here already all these things we have seen. Uh, here you can get male or female, you can use it as a radio button. So here we have given the gender so that before this uh, radio button, this will be displayed and then uh, type equal to radio. So, and the value is female. So what value, if that particular radio button is pressed, what value it will be sent to the PHP side. That is what we give it in female. And after closing this bracket, since we want that to be displayed on the screen, we want this to be displayed, so female. What that radio button means that, if you don't give this, only a circle will be appearing. For, okay, for this only one circle, and for this radio button, there is another circle. We a user may not know if I press this, what is the meaning? If I press this, another radio button, what will be the meaning? So in order to differentiate, we have to give this caption male and female. Then how you can make both the radio button to be one control. So for that, you have to give the same name for this name variable. Then once you give the same name, then it, the two things becomes one control. Then only the user can select only one. Now I'll show you that how it can be done. Now we just copy this and fit in. Now okay. here, uh, let me remove this password. Okay. So I don't want this password. If you want to use it, you can use, but time being, I don't want that. So now here, what happened? Uh, let me execute this. And then uh, I remove this and I'll show you the difference. Okay, let me remove this female and male. Now we'll see what happens. And I give different name for this also. Okay. Okay. I execute this. You give the text box. Then here, if you see that, since I have not given any BR, it, it is coming like this. So gender, see here, that is one dot, and here, this is another dot. We don't know if I press this, what will happen? If I press, what is the meaning of that? Whether this is male, or this is female, or this is male, or this is female. We don't know. So in order to know that only, the value passed is female and male, that we have given in our program. See here. But user don't know what it is so what happens we have to give the caption here okay that is what we have in there and uh, a radio button only one has to be selected but i am able to select both it is not correct so what happened we have to do some corrections in this that is why if you give different name then it will consider that as one uh, another variable this is another thing so in order to make both to be a one control we do this. Now I just take you this. Now if you see this, you will be able, the user will be able to select only one. If he select this, this will go. Select this, this will go. So this is what we want. Now, uh, still, uh, what is this uh, radio button is for? That is not known. So what we have to do, here we have to do, we have to give the value. We have to give the caption for that. That's what we are doing here. Email and then mail. Now let me give a PR here. And after this, 
also. Okay, yeah. Okay. Now, see here. Uh, as I give a brand uh, break in line, it will be expect. Now I type the name. Then see here, female. And now the user will know. If I press this, I'm pressing female. If I press this, I'm pressing male. Now the user is able to know that. Now I just press send. Now here, thanks for answering. You belong to SMB. Uh, why it's not giving me the male female tree? Because that uh, I haven't made any corrections. So that has to be done here in PHP. See how to print what it is. So now we'll see how it's done here. So this will be the thing. Now, you are a, this I haven't, I have missed this. So let me just check that. After that, dot. Yeah. It has to be given within quotes. Okay. Now we'll execute this. Ah, because it expects now there is no data, so again I have to run this HTML for the data to be sent. Oh, you are a female actor. Now we'll see the checkbox also. Here we select an MCQ for MCQ and all we can use radio button or any only one choice the user has to enter there we can go for the radio button. Where we go for the checkboxes. Checkboxes can be mainly so some more examples of the radio buttons is given here. Where, uh, say for example, core question, the core objective are clear. So for that, I have given the radio, use the radio. Say input name is choice one, I'll just strongly agree, strong. and outside also it's given. I already told you, if you give only, the user will be able to know what he has to select. So all our connector, all our made us only one control by using the same name for this. So if you see the output of this program, the core question, the core subject is where clear, strongly agree. So the user will be able to select only one. So for that, we have done this. Okay. Now, the user sometimes, he may want to select more than one choice. In that case, it is not possible to use radio button. You have to go with the checkbox. So how it can be done. So now we'll see how it can be done. You have to use the checkbox. See here, classroom teaching is done by, we have asked, we have given the question, classroom teaching is given by input name, check one, check box, type equal to check box, and for that value we have given outside also, because the user should know what he is clicking. So, here if you see that, even if the type is all the check box, see the variable name is different, because the user may select more than one, so each will be considered as an individual variable. Now, See like this. Now it will come as a checkbox. Then how he will read it from this? Uh, since the user will select more than one, now you have to check whether uh, sometimes the user may not select. Isn't it? Only he has three. He has not selected this. In that case, it should not give error. So, so you are checking whether the value is set or not. Whether the user has clicked the checkbox or not. So that can be done with the using of is set, whether the value is, whether the user has set the value for the checkbox. So is set, then the control. So how you can read the control as usual by using dollar request, underscore request, and then use the, uh, within the square bracket, uh, within quotes, you use the variable name. Then if it is set, then you can print, or else no need to print. So likewise, you can uh, make the, if the control is not entered by the user, uh, and still you are trying to read, it will give you error. So in those cases, you can use that, you can, in the PHP side, you can check whether the user has uh, pressed that, or uh, selected that control and has given the value, and then only you will be, a, you can make the PHP to print. So let us see this uh, program. First we'll see the, 
questioner. Okay, I would like to ask this. So, I this. this is HTML side and the code subject. This is also some radio button, also radio button only. We strongly agree. So we have given this, and then now from the PHP side. So what is from the PHP side? We are reading that. Here also we are doing whether the user has, uh, sometimes the user may skip the choices. So in that case, you may want to know whether the user has selected the particular question or not. So in that, we have to give again the same is set. Just know what we have said. So, so you can give if set. I uh, will see how it gets executed. No select email. And then go to the course object is what? See here, just print it. Suppose I'm not giving that is set, what will happen? That also I'll show you. Um, that I have to remove this. Suppose, let's see. Yes, this is a single command, okay? So now we'll see how it gets executed. Without, if that is without checking, I just echo that statement. Now what will happen? Sometimes user may not print. You may not select it very good. No, I just click here. See here, they already select. The core objective clear you selected is it gives because the choice one is a radio button name and the user has not selected anything. So error will come. So in order to avoid that only, we use is set. So if the value is set only, it will print. Or else see. If the user is not selecting, what will happen? If you have given that, if class, but also I'll show you. Okay, email. If he is not selected, no error will come. I think that is, the answer is not coming. So the error is not posted here. So in order to avoid that, say if you have checked that, nothing will be printed if it is the user is not selected nothing will be printed so this is the difference between using the is set and not using that so the next one what we are going to see is you see check box i will see Let's check box and we so here we have given the same name because of the radio button but here it is check box user can select any one more than one so we use check box so when you give check box immediately a square box uh, will be coming uh, what that box meaning that we are giving here okay so this we are going to send it to the PHP and how we are going to access it from the PHP side that we will see now. So there we are going to Oops. 
So here what we are doing is, here we are checking for the radio button, here we are checking for check value. Now we will see how it gets executed. The classroom teaching is done by see here small square box so i can select more than one online blackboard teaching and online now i'm selling two blackboard teaching and online both are selected and that's fine since the user select give more than one answer so how you can see so we can use that that's why we are using the variable name 